Hey guys, what's up? I'm just in my car today and I have like zero zero makeup on so I might just leave my sunglasses on um, just because like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, you really wanna look at me with no makeup? I'll fucking, I don't know. We'll see how I feel. I'll probably just like rip off my sunglasses halfway through. I'm literally sitting in my car. If you guys follow me on Instagram, um, there's Ming. She didn't want me to do her hair today. Um, anyway, if you follow me on Instagram, I was like, I don't really know if I can like do it today. I just like, I don't feel like it. I, my, I just, you know what it is? I think it has to do with my trainer. Like I had a trainer come this morning at 7 a.m. And it's the first time I've worked out like that early in my, probably my entire life. You know what I mean? So I'm just kind of like exhausted. I mean, I feel really good, but I'm exhausted too at the same time. So, um, I'm going to sit up. I don't like when I'm like, slouching. So, um. Yeah, I don't know. So I was like, I don't know if I feel like, honestly, I don't want to feel like, I don't feel like putting on a show right now. Not that I put on a show, but like, I guess I was going to tell you guys this. Um, it's really weird. Uh, maybe I'll just, okay. Bottom line is, bottom line is this video, I think I'm just going to like let my thoughts, thoughts ramble. Like you guys know something I always like, I try to like keep myself in check and like stay on one thought. I think I'm just going to let thoughts pop into my head and just like ramble. This, this could get... I don't know how this video is going to be. I don't know if I will even put it up. Maybe it will be like too much. I'm not going to get into into things. I need to take my glasses off. I, I can't. These are from, um, I'll put links to my stuff below. Um, my, what I'm wearing. Except for my fucking sweatshirt, guys. Because the sweatshirt is from a friend in Singapore. Okay, and I'm not, I don't know if it's real. I, I don't know. I don't think it is. I like the sweatshirt. That's it. I don't know. I'm not going to go ask her these questions. Like, whatever. So yeah, I'm just going to let... I'm just gonna let thoughts ramble. Um, I'm sitting in my car. I got my car washed. I'm happy about that. Um, I did a live yesterday and um, I'm gonna watch the time on this because I don't know how long I'm gonna let this go. We're already at two minutes. Um, I'm just gonna let things, first of all, first things first, I had a, a you guys, oh my god. All right, I don't know if this bitch is like, like fucking slow, like mentally slow, like, you know? Or if she's just a fucking cunt because I know like she knows me, all right? Like fucking she knows me, and I, I, I really I hope to God she's slow because she either if she's not slow she's just a fucking bitch, you know? She fucks up my coffee every fucking time. Like so, at the same I go to the same place every time and whatever. She's just so stupid, so annoying. Like I don't even get anything complicated. I get a fucking shot in a cup, and it, I, I I what I did, but you guys know I don't drink like a whole cup of of, of a large coffee, so I get. A, I ask, always ask for a small cup of coffee. They only have two sizes, okay? So I ask for a small cup of coffee in a large cup with an extra, with a shot of espresso in it because I don't want, I want a lot of room because I don't like it sloshing around and I don't like small cups, just way I am, okay? She just never gets it right. Like, she never gets it right and, you know, it's just, it's the most annoying thing. Like, today she, today I didn't want to fuck with her like I didn't want to fuck with her you know I was just like just give me a large cup of coffee with a fucking shot in it I didn't want to go through the whole small she just she just doesn't get it okay so she gave it to me and it was filled I went to go because I wanted to put cinnamon in it right so I took the cap off and literally the cup was so full like when I took the cap off I was like how did she manage to like fill it so full like you know thank you for giving me a large cup I get it but like can you leave that much room so I don't like kill myself so I went and I was like, it pisses me off because like I, if I pour out the coffee, my shot's gone because they don't, they pour, I don't know. I feel like my shot's gone. I feel like if you pour the, I don't know. I just don't like it. Like I want a fucking cup of coffee with a shot in it. I don't want it to be diluted. So I was like, fuck this shit. So I went back to her. I was like, hi, can you please um, pour some out? And then I feel like, cause you're pouring out, like my shot is getting lost too. So can you please give me another shot? And she just was like, so like left field about it. Like so annoying. Ugh, coffee was horrible today. It was fucking horrible. So I got another coffee. I spent like fucking twelve dollars on coffee today. This is blue bottle coffee, and I hate it too. But this is a. I like the way that their almond milk is like semi decent. So I got almond latte, even though I don't fucking like it. I mean, it's, it's like a fucking C, you know, C plus, C plus. I'll give it like a C plus. So that's my coffee saga this morning. Um. Yeah. My hair is like so curly Sue. I need to sleep on it when I already fucking blue blue dry it out and it's still fucking curly Sue. Like I can't hand stand on when it's curly Sue. So when it when it's slept on, it's like way nicer. And why is this like in turning, turning into my face?
know what's funny? You know what's really funny too? Look at how white I look on this thing. Um, you know what's really funny is, except for today, except for fucking today, actually, I feel like really mellow today. My other videos, I feel like I turn on when like that when that video when the video starts. I just feel like, like I this like this like, I just come out like I just get like I'm like on, and like in my last couple of videos. Well, actually, it's not true. In some, in every video I post, uh, people are like, "Oh my God, she's like literally on coke. Like she's on coke." Like, I know that you guys want some, not the, not that you, but like people who post that will never believe me. Like, I have never ever done any kind of drug in my entire life. Yeah, I like drink alcohol, but um, I have never done any kind of drug in my whole life. Like, I coke or like marijuana. Like, I don't like drug culture. It's not like, and like it's not for me. Um, but I was just like, "Oh my God, I, I know what it is. I, I, I'm very like." all over the place I know it but it's just my head like it's not it's not anything like it's I'm not even like I, I wasn't even like too much coffee because I don't even drink that much coffee like when I buy these coffees I literally only drink like this much and the rest gets tossed because like when as soon as the ice, it, our ice starts to melt I can't stand drinking it anymore um yeah I know okay like I said I'm just gonna let things pop in my head okay so I was also just thinking that I'm sitting I just like you guys know that I oh ow um, I love, I like really, really love where I live. I really, really fucking love where I live. I feel like where I live is like very bougie. Um, even though I have like the, sh probably the shittiest house in the entire, in, in all of where I live. Like I really probably do. I'm not, like, not even like joking. Um, like it's basically I'm, I'm living in a like, condemned house. <laughs> the house should be condemned. Um, well, you know, like the, the house around here is 17 mil. You know what I mean? Like they range from like eight, 000, eight mil to like seven mil um there are like ones less too yeah but like legit that's like average price around here I'm guessing is like eight million dollars um and I just I don't know I love I don't know I love where I live because I love the positioning of my house I just love the positioning of my house I basically don't have neighbors you know what I mean and I just love the way my house is just kind of alone but not really because it's it's just the positioning of it is so nice like I live like right in the center of everything but I'm also so not in the center of everything and I just you guys know I just I like very very few things in life like I really don't like very many things I'm, I'm very I'm very picky like yeah I'm very fucking picky I'm not picky about like important things like men <laughs> but um I yeah like I'm very picky, so I'm, I'm just, sh you guys know, like, I've not liked where I live, like, every, if you've been following me for a long time, I pretty much move, like, once, like, every year, or maybe a year and a half, I don't know, I move out of different apartments every year, so, when I found this house, I was just, is this ugly, like, is this ugly right here, I feel like there's something wrong, I don't know, so anyway, I just am, like, oh, I'm just sitting here, and I just am so, like, I cannot believe I get to live here, and I'm just so happy and thankful, and I, like, I worked for this house, like, just, it's my house, you know what I mean, like, this, I'm just so, I don't ever toot my horn, you guys know that, I don't toot my horn, I just, like, am so, like, proud of myself, and I'm so happy, it's not a mansion at all, you guys, it's a fucking small fucking house, I'm just, like, I'm not crying, okay, my fucking eye, that's, like, an itch, um, I just can't believe, like, you know, I'm just very, I'm just so glad that, I don't know what's the word. I'm just proud of myself. Like, I'm fucking proud of myself. I, you know, this, like, I bought this house. Like, it's my house. Like, I bought it on, on my own. And, um, I'm just, I love it. Like, it's, like, the one thing, it's, like, this one solid thing in my life that I know I made a really good decision on. And, yeah, there might be a lot of problems with it because it's an old house and things. But, like, I don't even care. I love it that much. Like, I fucking love it that much. Um, and I really never, ever, like, I say this now, but I really, really never, ever want to move. Like, you know, never say never about everything. But, like, I really never want to move. I hope I can just, like, you know, fix it up and, like, do some add-ons, but not too much. I don't want it to look, like, crazy, you know? Um, but I'm just really happy. I was just sitting here and, like, looking at where I am and, I like, not liking anything in life, like, ever, but, like, loving where I live and loving my house. Like, there's really, I have, like, no complaints. The fact, the, except for the fact that the house is, like, falling apart. <laughs> like, I really have no complaints, you know? Yeah, my life is kind of, like, insane right now. And if you guys caught my live yesterday, um, then you would, like, have heard a lot of things. And I appreciate you guys not, like... 
writing everything everywhere like on the like my the comments and stuff it's just annoying like yeah i may be sharing things and stuff and stuff but like you know sf okay fucking sf and if you guys a lot of you guys know sf is don't be a fucking sf which is a social freak like if you wouldn't say that to their, someone in to their face don't fucking write it like just because you're behind a keyboard you're so fucking like i'm literally embarrassed for people um yeah so my birthday oh my god so you guys things just pop in my head my birth yeah this is like becoming a, a tick where i talked about that like my blinking i seriously think it's becoming a tick i just think i'm like kind of <gasps> whoops like overwhelmed like kind of overwhelmed in a good way and in a stressed way i'm just like generally like kind of overwhelmed there's a security guard coming right now so i'm just gonna pretend like i'm on the phone because i'm sitting in front of really expensive houses that i don't want them to think i'm like i just don't want them to stop here and be like ma'am what, what are you fucking doing like i don't know you know what i mean i just don't want i don't want to be hassled right now i'm not in the mood i'm actually exhausted so i'm gonna wait till he leaves and then he's gonna pass you guys probably gonna see him right there no because i'm sitting low okay so um anyway what was i saying yeah my birthday my birthday's next week um I'm going to be 34, and, like, I'm kind of shocked, you know what I mean? I don't feel 34. I literally feel, like, 18. I really do. Like, I, I can't believe I'm 34. Um, I can't believe that I'm 34 with no children, really. Like, I, I'm just, like, and that's that's the main reason why everything is going the way it is, because I just not, you know, like, you need to have, like, what's the word? You need to have, like, a reproductive instinct, I feel like, or, like, I want you, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be, it's, you know, like, I, and I have that, you know, like, I, even though I really, like, I'm not, like, I hold, I went to visit my brother who has two children, like, and he's three years younger than me. Um, I don't feel like a baby, like, what's the word when you, like, when you want to have a baby? Like, I don't feel that. Like, I don't feel like that yearning to have one, but I know I, I know I want one. I know I want one of my own. I know as soon as I have it, I would be, like, the most ridiculous best mom ever like I know it I, I but I don't feel that like urge for it so I don't really feel like upset I just know that like me my clock is like done it's like ticking I don't know what I'm gonna do like whatever but I never thought I'd be in this position ever like I really didn't if you want to hear God laugh tell him your plans legit you guys oh my god like I have just the my life I'm so ha thankful like, it's amazing but like I would have never thought it would end, end up anywhere near like this like me being a business successful business owner like did this HRH thing from absolutely fucking nothing like all of a sudden did a video and then whatever things like happened like what like no like I literally thought I was gonna like get married to like someone who was gonna support me out of college like that's just the way I thought like I'm a pretty traditional person that's really really what I thought I'm not pretty traditional. I'm actually very fucking traditional, but I'm living the most untraditional life, like life. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's my birthday. I'm going to be 34. And the truth is I'll probably be spending my birthday alone. Not that it's, I'm going to care. Probably on that day, I, I will be a little bit bummed. I, I'm not hundred percent sure. The problem is I was born on mother's day. So, um, you know, and this year my birthday actually falls on mother's day and I'm just going to be real. And you guys are going to be like, I can't believe y'all like stop that right now, which is true. But, um, I'm taking a break for my parents and my parents are taking a break from me like um they're just tired I think they're exhausted I'm exhausted of, the, of them I love them to death they love me to death um and I don't even know why I'm going in this hopefully my mom doesn't see this because she'll get so upset pissed that I've shared she's like you share too much and it's true but I don't know I kind of feel comfortable doing it so I'm just gonna do what I fucking want to do because even if I, I always I always said to you like I always have to make the mistake you know like I can't be told anything ever in my whole life but um not anything bad just they've just been actually for about two years ever since you know I got married two years ago things between my parents and us have been my parents and I have not been very good because they don't like the choices I make you know they just don't think it's and you know parents are always right you guys parents are always fucking right let me tell you I mean I told you I have to learn I have to learn the hard way just the way I am but um you know there's no one who knows best except for your parents but I just need a break from them big time. They need a break from me. We just don't have a lot in common. And, you know, the, the more that I get, the older that I get, I feel like the more that is just, I think they're just, like, more sick of me the older I get. Because I, and then, I don't know what it is. Just, I need a break from them. I mean, I'm not ditching my parents. They're not ditching me. But we need to take a breather from each other. And, um, I don't even really want to like necessarily hear from anyone on my birthday I don't really care not like oh I don't care like I just really don't like it's not a big deal um I don't know I, I really don't know I, a lot of I have like no friends anyway but everyone's gonna be doing things with their mom you know so I don't I, I mean I'm not I'm nothing near like your mom like you have to hang out with your mom so it that I don't know what I'm gonna do but I really don't want 
I'm just going to be alone, and I'm sh I know for a fact I won't be talking to my parents just because, or they might call. I, I really wish they wouldn't, honestly, just because um, I just we, I think we just really need a break from each other. Um, and, yeah, that's just the truth about that. Not that anyone gives a fuck, but I'm just telling you the truth about everything, like, that I can. Um, I don't know, just... Like, I, I wish you guys would have caught my live yesterday because I was just, like, really... I was saying how my head is just, like, in such a different place. It's in such a different place than it has been in five years. In five years since I've moved to L.A. And <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, but basically five years, this whole, this whole fucking bullshit started. And just... I just have been, con I've been like strung, I allowed myself this, I fucking allowed myself, I allowed myself, I'm not really blaming anyone, I allowed myself to get strung along, I allowed myself to be, so myself to be like lied to about huge important promises, completely let down time after time after time after time after time after time after time, like about big huge issue promises, you know, and I'm just done, I'm fucking, I just can't do it, and there will be no more of that, and I, I wish I would have I mean, I had, it's kind of like weight loss. Cause I, I, when I, I remember when I was like, um, junior, senior, junior, freshman year of college, I hit 180 pounds. I was really heavy and I, it just clicked. It, it has to click for you. It has to, for me, for some people like me, it has to click. No one can tell me anything. No one, I can try to lose weight a million times. I can try to leave someone a million times. It, it, you can't, no one can tell you to. It has to finally click in your head and there is no magic to it. Like there's no magic to it. Um, and this, it's like the same thing with, it's just like the same thing with weight loss, same thing with men, same thing with everything. And I've just hit a wall and I just won't be lied to or won't be, uh, uh, no, it's not even, it is a lie, but it's not, I don't, it's lying so bad, but it's a broken, empty, pro it's a broken promises, like huge broken promises, like mega broken promises, not like, um, and you promised you're going to go on a trip this year, not like that, even though, yeah, like it would have been nice to go on a vacation, like no, like major fucking promises, um, and like, uh, oh, no more, no more. Problem is, I always let men choose me. I've never once chosen a man. I've never once ever in my life chosen a man a men have always chose me and if they're if I feel like oh it's fine oh it will work oh like it's yeah they're, they're whatever I'll, I'll I'll say fine like I'll be like we'll we'll date you know and I've never been picky like about it and I need to stop that it's so terrible like I, I think it stems from it's me like being having been light heavy my whole life you know I was like really really heavy it's like you know got really big in junior high and high school especially and I was like totally made fun of and stuff and it's just that really shaped my what I thought was where you know still to this day like I really wish like I was talking, talking to my friend and I was like you know what if I like when I date in the future or whatever if I could like go to like a meet meet up or something I would want to go to a meetup that was called girls who are 10 to 15 pounds overweight. I would feel so much better because I wouldn't have that stress in my head. Like, okay, I'm too fat. Like these guys aren't going to be into me. I'm like too fat. So if I could go to like somewhere where I could feel like that these guys were okay with girls who are like a little bit heavier, um, then I would feel better about myself. You know, LA is like a tough place. Like girls are very pretty here. Like people, you know, that's like all, models are here. Like everyone's very skinny. Everyone's very healthy. Everyone's very active. Like, you know, um, and blah, you know, it's like not really me. Yeah. I'm like, you know, I, I need to move more, but still, you know, like, I don't know. I, I just have like this mental block in my head and living where I live doesn't help it. Anyway, I'm not going to meet anyone anyway, probably because LA guys are just the absolute fucking worst. Like I'm not even, I, I'm not, I don't think, you know, people like bash men. I don't do that. I don't, I don't feel like I don't have any hate against men or whatever. I think that's such a stupid, like, that's such a new new thing nowadays, like men haters, and I don't like that. But um, I just think generally, generally, not everyone in LA, generally men in LA suck. Like I, from what I've seen, they're, just, they're stupid, they're immature, Im like whatever you think that, that whatever you hear about an LA guys, is probably accurate. It's a good stereotype. I believe in stereotypes. Like I actually do. Like dumb blonde, whatever. Say it. Like it's probably true. Like <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm not offended by that kind of shit at all. But I don't know. I need. I want to find like. We don't get into that. Why am I getting into that? But this is just... I'm not fighting anymore now. I'm not doing that. Like, I don't want to. I'm not going to... You guys, I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. Like, I really am going to be single for the rest of my life. I don't know what to do. Mm. Oh my God, I'm 
so happy I got that prenup. Oh my god, you guys. Why, like, literally, I can see why men kill their, like, ex-wives. Because if you had to, like, pay alimony, or if you had to, like, sell your house to pay them. No. No, dude. No fucking way. No fucking way in hell. Absolutely fucking not. Absolutely fucking not. Absolutely fucking not. No, 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 no. No. California fucking sucks, you guys. Get a fucking prenup, okay? Get a fucking prenup. If you're the breadwinner, get a fucking prenup. Seriously. Sorry, I'm like picking my fingers. Disgusting. Um, okay, what do I do now? You guys, I could sit here forever and like four years. What am I doing? Oh, I thought I was in there. Uh, what am I doing tonight? I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I really don't know what I'm doing. I hate when my hair starts to get like that. See how it's like starting to curl perfectly? It's so gross. Like, ugh, please. Disgusting. Mingy, do you want to say hi to everyone? Do you want me to? Do you want to say hi to everyone? My memory card was full. Um, oh, let me show you this. I, um, I put my... I'm so stoked. I put my um, Privé chains on my... This is my a medium? Or is this small? Is this small? This is small. Yeah, this is small. Um, chains on my, I put my, my Privé chains, these are my smaller Privé chains, and so let me show you what I did, oh my god, I love it, it's so convenient, so this is how the chain comes, and it's just, it's the most awkward, okay, you guys, these, these bag companies need fucking, they need, like, consumers to, like, come and tell them the, the issues, because, like, they're, or someone with, like, some half a brain, maybe like me, to come and tell them, like, that their chain links are fucking, they make people look fat and they're ugly. Okay, um, anyway, so the chain length on this is just not attractive. It's just, if you dub, if you pull both up, like, if you pull this up and the other one up, it's too short. And if you, it's just not, I don't like it, it's stupid. The other one, and if you do a crop, okay, it's stupid anyway. So, this is the medium length and, um, of my Privé mini chains. And it's the perfect shoulder length, so I just use it as shoulder. And then I also have the top handle. So just like grab it and go. I love it so much. And of course you can use this one if you want to. So I actually have three different lengths now. It's perfect. It's the perfect one. You guys can use these on all of your bags. You don't have to only use them on Chanel bags. Like if you have any bag with any kind of a ring or a ring here, any any kind of an area that a, that a ring, that a, a hook can attach to, you can wear it. Um, and if you're not sure, send me a picture of your bag on email and I can totally like look at it for you. Actually, so I'm so stoked because this one girl emailed me. She's like, she wanted a ba a one, one of these for her Constance Hermes bag. And I really, that's a bag I want so badly, but I'd probably never be able to get that. Um, but she wanted, and I was like, she's like, will it fit? And I was like, I'm sure it will. Like, I've seriously never had any people saying it didn't fit my bag. So have I? No, I really haven't. No one's ever been like, it doesn't fit. I've always been able to help. So, um... She emailed me, she's like, it fit perfectly. So just so you guys know, if you have a Constance, you can have now have a top handle on your Constance, which is so cool. Um, I was so stoked that it fit her bag. Um, and they fit everything. They fit the Mar uh, Gucci Marmonts, they fit, they fit everything. I love when, um, I love when you guys send me the pictures of your bag chains with your bags, because I love to see how versatile they are. Um, it's my favorite thing ever. And yeah, I don't know. What else am I talking about, you guys? Can I show you what Ron just texted me? He just said, you around, fat ass? He's such a dick. <laughs> I'm like calling Ron out all week. <laughs> you guys, okay, one last thing before I leave. You guys at the woodpecker, okay? Hello? I live in fucking Brentwood, okay, and I don't live like in the middle of the goddamn forest. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm I wouldn't expect. Yeah, I have trees everywhere, but I live in like I lived amongst trees my entire life. Like, I've never I've never heard a fucking woodpecker. I don't know why, um, but everyone's just like chill, relax. Like, I think you guys think I think you guys actually think that I think it's a dinosaur. Like, I don't think it's a fucking dinosaur. It just acts. It just sounds like it would be because I've never heard a fucking woodpecker before. Anyway, this morning I saw it, you guys. It's actually on a telephone, you know, a pole, like a telephone pole. It's in like one of my far neighbor's yards, and I could I could see the woodpecker going. It was, I can see it. It was fucking crazy. I, I don't know. It was crazy. I've never seen anything like it before. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing tonight. Like I don't know. I might. I don't even know if I want to go out tonight. 
I don't want to go out. I'm not sure. I'm not really like in the mood to go out. Everyone sucks. <sighs> I love reading your guys' comments. So okay. So I let me show you. So these are like your DMs. And I don't, like I told you, I can't open DMs. Like I do, I would love to open all DMs. Um, but I just don't know, like if I'm going to get like, no offense, but if I'm going to get like a, like a, a, that SF, no, no, no offense. Like where they, they like, they just like, I know like they just won't, they, they don't understand that like, yeah, it's nice to talk to you. And then they, they, they keep the conversation going forever. And then like I had one time where I tried to keep, keep it going because I didn't want to feel rude. And then I didn't write back. And then she like yelled at me. So for not responding how rude I was. So I, I've ever since then, that one girl like completely ruined it for everyone. Um, well, it wasn't like one. It was quite a few people. But there was, that was just one incident. I was just like shocked. I was like, really? Like, ugh, come on. So um I love to read your DMs. I really do. I do open them occasionally. Like if it's something amazing, I'll open it. Or if something like I really feel is me, or if it's like you know, I, I I appreciate like I appreciate them all. I really do. I appreciate them fucking all. Uh, don't get me wrong. I would love to open every single one, but I I mean I don't want to hit that like social freak lottery and you know my whole fucking day is ruined. So yeah, um, I don't know. There's some, there's, some, there's like top dog walkers everywhere. This <sighs> place. Um, yeah. So what? Why are you looking back? Okay, I'm fine. I'm not doing anything. I'm just fucking sitting here. Do you mind? Can't sit here? This is a private road, probably. All right. You guys are help. Are you guys really bored? This is... Have you guys gotten these yet? I'm wearing them silver today. These are my mix and match pendants. I love them so much. This is the um, heart, and that's on the, it's on the 21, and then this is the star, and it's on the 18. So it mat it layers perfectly. I love these, and they come in gold, too. And I'm wearing my... This is a... St I have now solid sterling silver. Privé chevaliers and chain rings. My chain ring, I'm, I forgot it at work. I take off my work rings at work and I forgot that one there. But I love this solid sterling silver. It's so gorgeous. It's so heavy and it's so, um, that you know, really nice, like, sterling silver color. I love it. So that's that. Uh, that's are these. These come in gold, too. Everything comes in gold, too. But these are something I wear, like, every single day. So anyway, yeah. I really don't know what I'm going to do today. I, I think, should I just get nachos tonight? I didn't get nachos last night. I've been on, I've been doing Lean Cuisines again. Um, and so I've been doing Lean Cuisines. I've been doing that again. I've been eating a little bit more than I should to like lose, lose the weight. But, you know, I don't know. It is what it is right now. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you guys, I don't know. I mean, I think next week I'll do a vlog, like a shopping vlog. It is my birthday. I might buy something. Except the the things I really want to buy, I I I, ha I want for my house. Like I want to buy things for my house so bad. I want like a big white gate, um, by my, on my house. Like I want to do that really bad. Like the, basically, you know, I mean, I just need a gate, um, and so I, that's kind of stuff I want to do. You know what I mean? Like, but I I I don't like any bags out right now. The only bag I like is like, you know, a fucking Hermes bag. But I, you fuck yourself, okay? Fucking fuck yourself, Hermes. If you're not gonna fucking invite me in there and be nice to me, I don't want your fucking trash. Stupid. Can you imagine? I mean, I'm not, I'm not Hermes, like, but can you imagine if I was like, no, I'm not gonna, I don't have, like, I don't know. I just can't, I don't get it. I don't get it. It's too exclusive. Go fuck yourself, okay? I don't fucking want your stupid fucking bag, okay? If by chance it happens one time, like, organically where I can like get a bag where someone is actually fucking nice to me then yeah I want one but I don't want to go and like suck dick for it. it's stupid Ugh. no and I don't want to buy like now you guys know how I feel about buying like a pre-used or pre-owned Hermes bag I feel like it's bullshit you're paying for you're paying more than what it's worth just to be in the club in the Hermes club when they don't even want you to fucking have it I'd rather wear a fucking nothing bag. I'd rather wear a fucking Michael Kors bag than than Hermes if I had to if they didn't want me to wear it themselves. Like fuck you. So annoying. All right, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to fucking go now. All right, I'm going to go. Thanks for letting me, you guys. Really thanks you so much for just letting me do this today cuz I this is fine. Like I told you on Instagram, which I hope you're following me on Instagram. Um, I'm losing followers lately again. I don't fuck Instagram. Um, you guys know, remember I hit like a hundred thousand and then I went, I, I'm always, I'm constantly hitting a hundred thousand and going down and then coming back up. It's just stupid. I don't know what the fuck it is. So please follow me. Cause I don't want to fucking lose any more followers. <laughs> embarrassing. What? I, I can't wait till I go back down pat to 99.9. I'm, I'm going to fucking show you guys. It'd be hilarious. But, um, what, what was I saying? Oh yeah, thank you for so much for like being cool and letting me do this today and not being like, oh yeah, no, we need to have a vlog. Everyone was like, Alex, I don't care. Just sit around and I don't care. So I like that you guys are just like letting me, just like with my designs, you guys like let me do what I want to do and don't make me like, 
you know what I mean? By like loving my designs and by like supporting my line, you guys let me do it. Let me do what I want, and you don't make me be like tacky and be like brunch and fucking mimosas, stupid shit. All right, now I gotta go. I love you guys though. Bye. <laughs>